So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I do this behind my head text effect all inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. No After Effects rotoscope needed. That's why I love this effect so much. And like always, I'll leave down in the link in the description the practice footage for absolutely free. And if you guys are new here, my name is Taurus Morosco and I create short form video editing assets for content creators exactly like you. They streamline your entire workflow into a simple drag and drop so you're not stuck at your desk all day and you can actually enjoy editing again. I'll Leave those down the first link in the description so you don't mouse out. And without further ado, let's create this effect. This is that effect that I am talking about. You can see it's behind my head. We're gonna do all these animations and everything too. I'll show you how I did them in a simple drag and drop. But for now, this is what I'm talking about. This cool behind the head text effect. It's super easy to do inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Without further ado, let me show you exactly how I set this up and do this. So first of all, we need to start off with obviously our captions. So I have this, I'm gonna delete my caption track you guys don't have to do this we're gonna be creating one right now so make sure to go into text you have your text up here if you don't have that I got you go up in the windows hit text boom it should appear I have mine in my top left now all you have to do is actually first of all you guys have to hit transcript so it should be a big blue button click on that smash it and you'll get all of this stuff right here once you have that next thing to do is it captions so now we're gonna create our captions so just hit this create captions from transcript hit this drop arrow pull all these to the left why because I said so I'm the goat listen to me <laughs> it's just gonna make all these captions look so much better trust me it does and now I'll just hit create captions and boom we have all of our captions for us we're gonna be looking over here don't pay attention to all of this yada yada stuff <laughs> now we have all of our captions so you can see in the bottom we want to make these captions obviously look good because right now I mean if you're using this default captions I fully fully you just need some help I can't really help you if you I feel super bad for you if you guys are using these basic captions so let me put you on some sauce really quick highlight them first hit this zone it's gonna bring it right where we want it right up below my chin that's usually obviously if you're just doing talking head but we're not doing hawking head we're actually putting it behind our back so I'm actually gonna just adjust this behind my big ass handsome head. <laughs> and we're gonna just get the font size a little bit bigger. You want it to be big enough so then obviously you can see it behind my head because if it's too small like this, you're not gonna see it. So what's the point of even doing it? So make sure to do that and just like put it right there. I think that looks pretty good. Now the next thing we're gonna do is get rid of this ugly shadow so it actually looks good. Then we're gonna take the sexy fonts that I always hook you guys up with. And if you're wondering what fonts I use in all my Instagram reels. Just check out this video right over here or I'll have it like popped up on screen really quick. My editor can put it up there. It's just the top three fonts that I recommend everyone to get for absolutely free. So you guys can just have super clean text fonts exactly like me. So what I'm gonna be using, I'm just gonna be using one of those fonts that you're gonna be getting in that video is called Inner. I use always black, looks super clean and aesthetic. I might put this up again, just always resize, see how the word is working for you guys. Then what I like to do is always push these together. So I always mess with this really quick, just close enough so it looks good. It's around negative 50 I like to do. So negative 49, that's fine, same thing. Same schmucko. Again, resize this to my liking. And that is pretty much all I do when it comes to my captions. Now we need to upgrade these two graphics so we can have them so then they all look like this and we can add all these really cool effects. And the way to do that is super duper simple. All we have to do is make sure these are highlighted by doing that. Come up to graphics and titles, upgrade caption to graphic, and now we can adjust these and put our effects on them. So I'm gonna quickly just drag this down really quick. If you guys have a problem like me, which usually like when you drag this, you see how like I'm moving it left and right and you don't have it like sit still like this. All you have to do is actually hold shift. So now if I bring this all the way down to my clip down here so we can actually see what's going on. If I hold shift, it'll automatically place it exactly where it needs to be, where it's originally placed. So then just let go on your mouse and boom, it's perfectly placed just how we like it. Now, the next thing we need to do is make sure that each and every single word, we can actually see it behind my head because when I talk, you can see through this, like this video, obviously that's a smaller word. So you just have to adjust all of those really quick by just clicking on it, clicking the video, and then adjust the size like this, just so you can see it behind my head. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. Okay, awesome. Once you get them like this, now we all we have to do 
is get into the actual effect, <laughs> which is the easiest part. All you have to do is just grab your original clip. So this is me talking, duplicate it by just holding Alt, drag up above your text layers. So now I'm gonna be in front of it. All the texts are gone, that's completely fine. Now click on the top one. And what I do is I use a plugin called Keeper. Now, what it essentially does is it rotoscopes me for me. So I just drag and drop it and boom, it's behind my head. That's how easy. Oh my God, I need to make this plugin for myself and like genuinely make a plugin, this exact plugin because it's so helpful. I'll actually leave this plugin down in the link in the description. It essentially just rotoscopes out your entire subject. So if I actually delete this background, you can see that I'm fully rotoscoped out and that's what this plugin does. It's so much better than after effects at least when it comes to wasting hours inside of that so if you guys don't have it i recommend getting it it's a great investment trust me it's worth it i think for sure especially if you're doing this effect a bunch or you're rotoscoping out subjects like crazy now all we have to do now is add those cool effects because we always go an extra mile and we always make our reels on this channel super clean exactly like me so i'll show you what i would personally do you know me i don't like wasting hours of editing and i'm sure you you guys don't either because I got more better things to do than just sit on my computer and waste hours doing the same thing over and over again. That's exactly why I use my presets. So we're just gonna use the caption FX presets that's in the captions of FX pack. I'll leave down in the link in the description for you guys. Essentially, all I do is just like, let's say I wanna highlight these first three words that come up. Let's add this up here down. So now when it comes in, Mastermind video. oh my God, let me render this really quick. My computer is getting cooked. Bingo, now you can see that these first three are just automatically animated for me. That's how easy these are to use. And we can just do really quick all these other one so I want like these next three to just do like let's do a fade in we can have the rest of these like these three next we can do like a flicker in also have them fade or flicker out and the last ones we can have them let's say appear up with this really nice negative effect you see everywhere and just like that I'm done. Just like that, like, look, look, I'm done. Exactly I don't even have to do anything. These really Apple nice, just, real it's just, just so, oh, fuck. It's so easy to use, bro. That usually would take me like 30 minutes or an hour to create all these effects and rinse and repeat it for every single one of these texts. But now I don't have to do that all because of this. And then going an extra mile because you know, these are just so easy to use. We can just use my really nice zooms. So I can just come in my zooms. I made an adjustment layer. All you have to do is drag and drop that on an adjustment layer. So if you guys watch Watch my content, which I'm sure you do. You know that I always have this nice clean pull in and pull out right in the beginning of every single one of my reels. And that's Video exactly how I create exactly all of my zooms in. Like it's that easy, bro. And honestly, if you guys are gonna grab it, I would recommend just grabbing the all pack because not only do you get every single one of my packs that I use every single day, but you also get a course that explains exactly how to use each and every single one exactly like me with all my key binds and a bunch of stuff I never share. It's in that video. So you'll learn all the in-depth things of what I do. And more importantly, you get every single future editing pack I release for absolutely free. So I'll leave that one in the first link in the description. So, you know, you can grab these and save a bunch of time for yourself. And if you guys wanna learn exactly how I created this Apple editing style reel I have up on up on screen right now, you can actually go check out this video right over here. I do a full breakdown of how I create this Apple style in minutes instead of hours like majority of people do. And thanks for watching. Make sure to share this with at least one of your friends and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace!